Shabbat Shalom. I invite you to share a Shabbat greeting in our chat box and welcome each other to this special Shabbat. As we begin Shabbat services this evening, I have a question for all of you. Before Shabbat services, did anyone feed any birds? Yes, that's right, birds. Did you go out and look for any birds? Well, you should have, because this is Shabbat Shira, and there's an Ashkenazic minhag that on this special Shabbat that we read from the Torah tomorrow morning where we crossed the Sea of Reeds and crossed in out of Egypt to freedom, that actually the next thing besides breaking out in song we're celebrating with the birds. The birds chirped. They sang as well. And so it's Minhag and it's connected to Tuba Shvat that we celebrated yesterday as well. That we are to feed the birds to remember their praise of God as well. Tonight we celebrate Shabbat Shirah and also remember a beloved and talented musical leader, Debbie Friedman. All melodies tonight that Cantor Novick and our congregation will sing will be from Debbie Friedman, who really paved the way for the reform movement's current music. Tonight would be her 10th, tonight is her 10th year yard site anniversary, and we remember her this evening. We continue with her psalm, her composure to Psalm 115. Yeah. <laughs> 
As Rabbi Prosnitz said, this is Shabbat Shira, the Shabbat of song. Tomorrow morning, we will read Shira Tayam, the Song of Songs. Why were we singing the song millennia ago? We were celebrating our safe passage from Egypt to freedom. Each year we mark the Shabbat in joy and in celebration. If we can imagine Miriam with her timbrel and all the women followed her, it was a joyous celebration. In my mind, there is no coincidence that tonight, as Rabbi Fazi said, we also mark the 10th yard site of our beloved Debbie Friedman, Zichrano Lebracha. Debbie changed the face of synagogue music single-handedly. There were others, but Debbie was at the helm, transforming worship into a new era which has shaped our spiritual lives in such a special and blessed way. Tonight we will honor her memory by praying with her beautiful and uplifting melodies. One last thought. Incorporating our opening song and our closing song is the mention of the Shekhinah, the divine spirit of God. Debbie embodied the idea of singing about Shekhinah so that we could have some insight into what the presence of Shekhinah means in our lives and while we pray. For Debbie, it was all about holiness. Sichrano Livracha, Debbie. Every time we pray, your memory will always, always be a blessing to us. We'll continue with Lacha Dodi. This is a melody that we've never sung. Very few synagogues have ever sung it. I'm not quite sure why, but it has a beautiful melody which helps us enter Shabbat in a peaceful way, a beautiful way. Maybe not exciting and rhythmic, but a very calming way to welcome Shabbat. And I'm gonna teach you the melody, the chorus. It goes like this. Let's get the key right. It goes like this. Together as we begin Lechado Di. Lechado Di, Likrat Kala, Bene Shabbat Nekabela. Lechado Di, Likrat Kala. Let's 
Continue with Kabbalah Shabbat on page 142 with the words of Shalom Alechem. Shalom Alechem, Shalom Alechem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Yon, 
she wrote before she passed. Shalom Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashari, Malachi We welcome Shabbat by kindling our Shabbat candles. I invite you, if you have your candles in front of you, to bring them to show us so we can light as one community. Also, they will bring us warmth this really cold Shabbat. Another way that we can be warm is by sharing good things that may have happened to you this past week. If you are celebrating a simcha, both big or small, please share it in the chat box so we can celebrate those big and small moments in your lives as one community. Each Shabbat, we kindle these lights anew to purify and renew the week and to remind ourselves of the warmth we can provide to others. Yet this is a fragile flame, easily extinguished by the passing breeze. As we thank God for this day of rest, let us also give thanks for these candles, which we light again.
couple of joyous things, just being present for this Shabbat. We, uh, Amanda White committed to going to Penn State. Uh, Daniel and Paula Kaplan are shared uh, their a daughter's wedding this past week. Mazel Tov and Kathy Wolner celebrating 25 years cancer free. Uh, good things that bring us warmth this Shabbat. We continue with, on page 144 with the Chatzi Kaddish. It kadavi it kadash me raba. Me halimati varachi roti. Me yom dech malchuti. Me chayechon uv yom echon. Uv chayed chalvit Yisrael. Ba gala ba gala uv ismahan karif. Himeru amen. Yehesh me raba me vorach. Lehol amolol me halmaya. Itvarach. Itvarach vishtapach. Itvar vitramam vitnase. Itadar vitale. Italal. Shimete kucha, rihule ela, min kol virchata vishirata, tush pechata venechemata, damiron belma, imeru, amen. Our worship continues with the Barhu, our call to worship on page 146. Please rise. Barhu et Adonai, Hamevorach. Baruch Adonai, Hamevorach. Laolam. We continue together on page 148. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Malach Olam, Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bechokma Potea She'irim, Uvit Guna Mishane Itim, Uma Khalif Et Hazmanim, Um Sader Et Akochavim, Bemishmorotayam Barakia Kirtzono, Berei Yom Belayla, Kolel ora mipne hoshek, the hoshek mipne or. Ma'avir yom umevi laila, ma'avir ben yom uven laila, Adonai tzvaot shemo. El chai v'kayam tamid yimloch aleinu le'olam ba'ev. Baruch ata Adonai, amari aravi. Ahava tola. Let Israel Amcha Avta Amcha Avta Torah Mitzvot Chukim Umishpati Yeah, you're my 
Continue on page 158. Say, 
Sehelianu be ameru Adonai no le olam bahet Adonai no le olam bahet Mi kamo kaba helima Adonai Mi kamo kane tabako Dorati lo dosefele Dorati lo dosefele Shabbat Shirah. That means there should be some energy in your Zoom boxes. You can clap along. You can sing along. You want to bring that joy of freedom that we experience this Shabbat. So let us see you on the Zoom dancing and singing. Uh, that is part of Shabbat Shirah. <laughs> Ahad Am wrote, more than the Jewish people has kept Shabbat, Shabbat has kept the Jewish people. We continue with Vishamru on page 162. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, Harper Bauman will be called to the Torah as he celebrates becoming a bar mitzvah. So Parker, I invite you to unmute yourself and Parker will lead us in the first blessings of the Amidah. Please rise. Adonai sepata kita ufia gite hilateha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Barahata Adonai Eloheinu Velohe abotenu himotenu Elohe Abraham Elohe Itak Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rahel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadio Hagimor Hanara, El El Yom, Tomel Hasadim Tovim, Vikone Hako, Vizoher Haste of Ovi Imaho, Rume Vigulali Nevenehem. The man shall be a hava. Mela hose a moshia umagin. Barra hata hodonai. Nagin Abraham, Bezra Sara. A tagi borle olam adonai. Mehaye hakola tara leoshia. Mashi hiva rua. Umarida gashem. Mehakel haim behesed. Mehaye ha ko be rahamim rabim. So mach no flim berofe holim. 
Thank you, Parker. Yasher Koach, done with strength. If that's any indication, tomorrow's service will be lovely. You may be seated. We continue now with a moment of tefillah talev, the prayers of our hearts.
In the event that you have not been paying careful attention, the music in tonight's service has been composed by Debbie Friedman. How fitting that on Shabbat Shirah, the Sabbath of song, we should sing her music. In this week's Torah portion, Beshalach, in which we read or chant the epic poem, Shirat Hayam, the song of the sea. If you grew up in the reform movement, you grew up listening to and praying to the music of Debbie Friedman. I discovered her music when I was in my temple's youth group. Debbie Friedman, along with Danny Freelander and Jeff Klepper, created the soundtrack of my Jewish high school experience. Growing up, perhaps my favorite of Friedman's songs was And Thou Shalt Love, a setting of the translation of the Ve'ahavta, which we sang just moments ago. To sing a piece of Jewish liturgy in English felt radical. And that was exactly what I loved about Youth Group and Nifty. I was praying in a language I understood. Her lyrics allowed me to know a prayer that I didn't even know I didn't know. For others, it was Miriam's song. A modern Jewish woman wrote a song about an ancient Jewish woman who wrote a song. This was remarkable for so many reasons. A song about a woman that would become so famous. It is to this day sung in churches. For Jews, it was so popular that it became more than simply a song. It became a part of our liturgy, often sung in place of the traditional words of the Micha Mocha. For women in particular, this became the place in worship where they felt recognized. The contribution of a biblical woman, Miriam the prophet, had become a prayer set to music by a woman some would call a modern day prophet. And yet for others, it was her setting to Havdalah. Single-handedly, Debbie Friedman put Havdalah on the reform Jewish map with a setting that perfectly captures the mystical essence of these blessings bidding Shabbat farewell. So captivative is this setting that it has become the standard not only in reform congregations, but in reconstructionist, conservative, and even in some modern Orthodox communities. But putting personal favorites aside, it is perhaps the Mishaberach, more than any of her other works that has transformed not only our experience of Jewish prayer, but our experience of Judaism itself. In a 1997 interview, Friedman said this, early on in the reform movement, there was a leaning toward more intellectuality and less emotional, less spiritual. Anything that was irrational really didn't have a place. I think that the greatest breakthrough has, that has happened in these past 20, 25 years is that those walls are crumbling that people have found now that we need to be integrated human beings that know and think and also feel. In this incredibly modest estimation of the transformation of the reformed Jewish experience, Debbie Friedman failed to mention that she was largely responsible for that breakthrough. She identified a need that many of us did not even know we had. Reform Judaism could not only be intellectual and rational. Yes, we needed answers to the mystery, but we also needed the mystery. Sometimes nothing is more mysterious than illness. Who becomes ill and who does not? Who gets better and who does not? There is just so much science can tell us at some point, 
just about all of us will find ourselves asking why. It might be about our own illness or the illness of a loved one. It might be a physical pain, emotional turmoil or spiritual emptiness. And like our ancestors, we too may turn to prayer. We pray for healing. We may pray for a miracle, even though we never thought we believed in miracles. We might also pray for strength, courage, calm, or the ability to face the inevitable. We may pray alone, finding comfort in solitude. We may ask others to pray for us. As a student, as a student chaplain, a patient once asked me to accompany him to surgery, reciting Psalms along the way until I could no longer accompany him past the doors to the operating room. Often we pray for healing in communal settings. There is comfort in knowing that we are not alone, that we are not the only ones feeling pain or that others too are praying for loved ones. We ask that the names of those who are ill be read aloud during services. I hope that no one believes that I or Rabbi Prosnit, or any of the other clergy have a trust, fast track to God, or that if we say their name, it will carry more weight. I would wish that it did if it would offer comfort, but I do not believe that I have a direct line to God any more than any of you. So what are we doing when we ask that a name be added to the Mishaberach list, or when we hold in our hearts those who are dear to us when we say the words of the Mishaberach. Of course, we may be praying that the surgery will be successful, that the medication will work, that the spiritual void will be filled. But we are also entering into a communal pact with each other that sooner or later, all of us will know some sort of pain. That no matter how different you and I may be, this is something we share. No one goes through life without some sort of physical pain, emotional disappointment, or spiritual doubt. And this is the pact. Pray for me and I will pray for you. Pray for me when I or my loved one needs healing, and I will pray for you and for your loved one when you or they need healing. This pact is the recognition that we are all in this together, no questions asked. In concert, whenever Debbie Friedman would sing the Mishaberach, she would sing it twice. The first time she would ask the audience not to sing. She would sing the Mishaberach alone for them. And the second time they could all join her. At first, I chalked this up to some sort of self-serving shtick because her audience knew her song so well, a Debbie Friedman concert could quickly become a song session and not a concert. I thought she wanted to have at least one solo before the night was over. But I came to realize that this was her pact with her audience, her community, with us. Truly a Debbie Friedman concert could feel like being in a congregation. Over the years, we learned that Debbie lived with her own chronic illness. And when Debbie Friedman performed she first sang the Mishaberach for us because she knew that we were all acquainted with pain and that we all needed healing. And then we sang the Mishaberach back to her because we knew that she needed healing too. That was our pact with Debbie. 
in a heartwarming confluence of calendars. This Shabbat, this Shabbat of song marks as, as the cantor told us, the 10th Yurtzeit of Debbie Friedman. Not only does this week's Torah portion contain the impetus for one of her most famous compositions, Miriam's Song. This week's Haftorah portion comes from the book of Judges. Let me read to you the first words of this week's Haftorah. Deborah, wife of Lapidot, was a prophetess. She led Israel at the time. She used to sit under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. And the Israelites would come to her for decisions. I cannot help but wonder if they did not also come to her for healing. From Miriam to Deborah to Debbie Friedman. May the memory of all of these prophets be for a blessing. May their memories help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say, Amen. We continue with our prayers for healing on page 371. Please feel free to share the names of those for whom you are praying in the chat box. Nishaberach avotenu ve'imotenu, Abraham Yitzhak v'yakov, Sarah Rafka Rachel Velea. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless, bless and heal those who are now ill. Tonight, we pray for Gabby Kraft Buckman, Susan Klein, Summer Curter, Susan Robb, Arlene Furman, Neil Silverman, Larry Maslow, Mason Rockmore, Martin Ostroff, Pearl Weitzman, Aaron Taylor, Perry Shellman, Sharon Neese, Rabbi Rob Nosenchuk, Andy Sukutris de Oreo, Joyce Kagan, Gloria Ostaker, Ina Botvelvel Draymond, Emil Vogel, Kathy Murphy, Betsy Miller, Mary Ann Stahl, Allison Tischler, Stephen Brundage, Betty Moore, Madison Mosher, Phyllis Brown, Stephen Wasser, Elaine Michaels, Melissa Bayer, Zev Fischel Ben Shaul Leib, Lenore, Anita Engel, David Lazar, Amy Letterer Shapiro, Marvin Brout, Ali McGowan, Mike McGowan, Rosalie Elbaum, Elaine Morgenthal, Carol Siegel, Stephen Anthony Sussex, and Benjamin Kagan. May the Holy One Blessed be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Spirit, 
123, sanctify the sweetness of this Shabbat with the words of Kiddush, I invite you to rise. <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddushanu v'mitzvotav, Veratzavanu, Veshabbat kodcho, Veahava uvratzon, Hinchilanu, Zikaron, Lemaase, Zereshit, Ki hu yom techila l'mikrae kodesh zechel itziat mitzrayim ki vanu vacharta veotanu kidashta mikol ha. The Shabbat Kochecha Be'ava Uvratzon Inchaltanu Baruch Atah Adonai Mekadish HaShabbat Amen. Kids 376, a prayer for our country. O guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in the defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom <laughs> and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife and our country be sound in body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Avinu Shabbat Shemayim, Sur Yisrael v'Goelo. Barech et medinat Yisrael, de shit nichat ke ulotinu. O heavenly one, protector and redeemer of Israel. Bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love. Spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise. Guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Together we say, Amen. Amen. Page 586, we conclude our service with Alenu. Alenu le Shabbat Ladon Hakol, La Tate Gedula Leotse Breshit. Shelo asanu kegoye haratzot, velo asamanu kemishpachot adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegoralenu kechol hamonam. Vanachnu korim, umishrachavim umodim. Lifne melech, malche hamlachim, hakad mosh baruchu. Please be seated. Rise up like the Son of God over all humanity. 
cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas and light up the universe with the joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace. The Nemar, the Hayah Adonai, the Melechar Kol Haaretz, Vayom Ha'u, Vayom Ha'u, Yeh Adonai Echad, Ushimo, Ushimo, our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. If you are remembering a loved one this evening, I invite you to write their name in the chat box and their relation to you. In our community, thinks of those who have died in the past 30 days. Nita Klaskow, mother of Lee. Annette Feldman, mother of Michael Kahn. Eileen Garlock, mother of Jeremy. Deanna Weisbrot, sister of Debbie Shapiro. Donald Hirsch, father of Debbie Hirschboyle. Robin Fisher Solace, sister of Steve Fisher. Morton, Norton Morgenthal, father of Stephen Morgenthal. Sarah Faye Silverstein, cousin of Ronnie Epstein. And Andrea Bernstein, sister of Robin Tupper. We also remember the yard site, the anniversary of our loved one's deaths. Louis Ackman, Nadine Becker, Eva Berman, Ruth Berman, Adam Biagoli, Rini Blum, David Borrell, Ethel Eschkowitz Sinicho, Sarah Siflet, Ethel Cohen, Miriam Cohen, Sadie Cooper, Stephen Crown, Max Danis, Joanne Danzis, Benjamin Dunn, Harry Eisenberg, Albert Eisenberg, Miriam Epstein, Ruth Epstein, Octav Babis, Morris Feeman, Marilyn Forgash, Philip Goldberg, Marcella Goldstein, Frank Gottesman, Kate Grossman, Samuel Handler, Rita Heffler, Ada Hoffman, Gladys Holtzman, Selig Horowitz, Anna Kessler, Bessie Course, Anna Kushner, Benjamin Landerman, Joseph Landu, Morton Landu, Sadie Landu, Edith Lair, Anna Levin, Hannes Lickhalter, mm-hmm. Rosalind Lickner, Charlotte Steinberg Lippmann, Ann Mayer, Terry Murath Mayer, Rose K. Netsky, Beth D. Pollock, Ada Rosen, Myra Rosen, William Rosen, Stuart Rotker, Cantor Max Schiff, Jack Schneider, Max Schertzer, Burnham Schwartz, Margaret Schwartz, Rose Siegel, Frederick Schaffman, Martin Simon, Sydney Sklaroff, Jacob Smith, Bernard Sumlow, Bell Straver, Murray Saltzman, Stephen Trachtenberg, Donald Weil, Ruth Wolf, and Saul Dolenbeck. I invite you to rise and turn to the words of Mordor Scottish, page 598. And we also remember Debbie Freeman. Yikada, Yikada, Shemay Rabba, Yama Dibarah, Yurute, Yamlik Malfute. Bechayachon of Yomechon of Chaye de Chobe Israel. Bagala Bisma Karib Yimru Amen. Nehesh Ne Rabba Mivarach Vayalam Ame Amaya. Yiparach Vishtabach Vipaar Vitroma Viet Nase. Vitadar Vitale Vitala Shane de Kudisha Barifu. Ne Elam in Koberchata Vishirata. Tushbechata Venechamata. Vamiran Viama Yimru Amen. Yeheshlama Rabba Mit Shemaya, Mechayim Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael Bi'imru Amen. O Sei Shalom B'Ramad, Uya Sei Shalom, Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael Bi'imru Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and all of Israel, as together we say, Amen. Please be seated.
few closing announcements tomorrow. Uh, Holy Scrollers and our Shabbat morning minion, both virtual. Uh, Parker, I can't wait to stand on this Vima with you tomorrow and your family. Just looking at my iPad, I can see all your family beaming as well as our congregation. Uh, your leading of the Amidah shows that our Jewish tradition is in really strong hands. So mazel tov to Parker and your entire family. Uh, coming up uh, this week, uh, we have a uh, on Wednesday a program about talking to children about race. Uh, it could be your grandchildren, it could be a niece or nephew, it could be your own child. We hope that you join us for this interactive conversation. On Friday at noon, we will uh, have a conversation with uh, our assemblyman, John Bramnick, and a member of our congregation uh, to learn more about his priorities for the New Jersey legislature this year, as well as information about COVID-19 and vaccines. We hope you join us as well. And tomorrow night, if you have a college student, we encourage them to join us uh, to, for Havdalah, uh, we are bringing our college students back to join us virtually for a, a way to end uh, this Shabbat. And of course, we will be using Debbie Freeman's melody. Our closing song, Cantor. Yes. The Angel's Blessing, which is based on the text of prayers that we say before going to sleep. right hand bring us closer to our godliness may our left hand give us strength to face each day and before us may our visions light our paths ahead and behind us may we All around us is Shekhinah. 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 our right hand bring us closer to our godliness may our left hand give us strength to face each day and before us may our visions light our paths ahead and behind us may the Shekinah this Shabbat, and you find that joyous song. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.